What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and then we're building the biggest Hello Neighbor custom house that I think has ever been made by anyone. Now this is, from what I've seen, I don't know, I haven't done my research entirely, although I probably should have before I said that, but whatever, you can burn me if you want. So this house will go from build minimum height to build maximum height. Now with the exception of one block because I needed a ground for it to stay on. Um, so this house ended up being 383 blocks tall. It is... I should have gotten the dimensions wide. I'll get that for the end, hopefully, if I remember. No, I probably won't, actually. I'll throw it in somewhere. Um, here's a line of terracotta from the bottom to the top. That's how big we need it. Um, throughout the thing, basically, as I build up, it's going to be just a time lapse. Uh, it's very sped up, by the way. Just be aware of that. I'll also talk through some part parts of it. Um... You'll see three terracotta blocks up here. First one is the height of Giant House. Second one is the height of my new Act 3, which is 105 blocks, in case anybody is curious. And then the third one will be the height limit. That will come at the very end. This thing took me nine hours. Hold on, let me get the actual number up real quick. I should have gotten that up. See, I didn't think. Frick. It is nine hours... 49 minutes and 40 seconds is how long the time lapse is. Now, I spent another about 10 minutes on this. So, it, it was about 10 hours. I spent those 10 minutes at the end, which I'll talk about there. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the time lapse. And I'm going to start with here. Just going to start it off and kick it off. Uh, enjoy the background music because I'm not going to be talking for most of this. I'll just kind of pop in towards the end as well again. Um, but, yeah, so basically I kind of start off. And my general idea here is I want to make a little bit of each game into this. Now, I'm or each house, I rather. I'm not going to, like, you know... Well, not at the moment. I'm not going to fully make anything or not going to have, you know, exact replicas. It's going to be just like, you know, little inspirations of things. You'll see them pop up later. There will be some exact rooms actually later on when I, later on when I get a little dry of ideas. But kind of just, you know, you'll see some secret neighbor in here with the, like, bigger windows. You'll just see some weird proportions. You'll see some giant house. You'll see some alpha one. You'll see some pre-alpha. You'll see a little bit of everything. And that was my goal with this. It was to get as much as I could into one design and, you know, just have it look good and work well now it is a little thin which you will see at the end um but i think it looks fine and i hit a problem later i'm gonna just kind of throw a lot of details out now it starts because i can't see what, it, what i'm actually on right now it starts leaning back and i noticed this and i'm like okay let's invert that so i started making it lean forward it ended up working fine it did cancel it which was good but um yeah you will see also at some point um actually i'm not gonna spoil that but uh, yeah i'll pop back in when i start building some of that and um yeah, so i'll see you then
All right, so I'm back. Hello, uh, hi. Uh, so this is kind of where some inspiration starts to get thrown in. You'll see in a second here. I'm gonna build something, which I'm gonna actually wait a second to say because again, I can't see anything. Um, but um, actually, I'll say right now, I built a little mini act one. You'll see on stilts is a or on a support little thing. This is from giant as a giant house inspiration, except I put act one there. You'll see. I'll later build a mini early prototype. I'll build a mini mini alpha two. And I think that's the rest. You'll see. You saw an alpha one. You saw some floating rooms. You saw some windmills. I got a little bit of everything in here that I could think of. I definitely missed something else. So if there's anything that you're like, oh, why didn't you add that? Go ahead and throw it in the description. Also, I want to talk about interior at this point in the video. Um, I'm thinking about making it basically like a kind of competition or like a race type of thing where it's a race to the top. There are multiple paths that would be possible to take based on the way that I made the house. Although. Building an interior for this would be painful, let's be honest. I run out of ideas when I make really tall custom houses, and there also are a few that I might throw in at some point later. But, um, yeah, here's the point that we're at now. You saw that also mini Act 3 thing right before the Act 1. Sorry, I forgot to mention that in the, the description of that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll pop back in at the end, and I shall see you then.
back once more. Um, this final part is this final like two minutes of time lapse was an hour straight of me just working. Uh, you can see the mini alpha two in the bottom left that I made. That is one of three. You'll see the early prototype in a minute here, which I'll point out because I actually got the times in my head right now. Um, but um, yeah. So this is kind of where I started. I started to struggle a little bit before this, and I was like, oh my god, how do, just how do I continue this? This thing was really hard to get inspiration for all the way to the top, and um, I made it work. It was brutal, but like, hey, I got there. Uh, about around now, and maybe a few seconds after I'm saying this, you'll see the early prototype will come up and be there. A uh, little mini early prototype. Figured I'd throw that in, because I was like, yeah, I mean, why not? Um, also, supports and stuff I add off recording. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Along with rails, you saw the train stations. I think those would have been done by now. Um, but, yeah. Kind of kind of crazy stuff happening here. Um, hold on, let's get a drink of water. I'm staying talking for the rest of this. You gotta deal with me, sorry. Okay, that's your break. Um, also, it's thundering outside. That's great. But, uh, yeah, so this kind of, I don't know, it existed, it happened. Uh, this was, like, about... Oh, my God, how long did this take me? It was really only about a month. It wasn't that long. Um, and you will see in a moment here what I decided to cap this off with, and I was like, man, the most convenient thing and the most, like, appropriate thing has to be the Act 3 magnet room. So I actually tried to copy the front block for block, I only looked at an image, I was one block off, I was one single block off from getting the front perfect. It's not the same length back, but I wasn't concerned about that, I was more concerned about the front. Alright, and, um, yeah, so there is the finished product. Here are a couple little shots that I got, um, this thing was amazing, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go quiet, actually, again for another couple seconds here. So, um, yeah, there are some shots of the house, um, overall, this thing was a really fun one to make, um, it was a great time, I mean, it was hard, it was tricky, but I definitely enjoyed it. Let me know what everybody here thinks in the comments below. This will be in revived update, whatever the next version will be, 1.5, 1.1. We're all kind of like, yeah, it'll be some number. Um, but, um, yeah, I think that was worth it. guys did enjoy this video. Um, more Hello Neighbor tutorials coming soon? I don't know, that is a thing that happened. Have a fantastic day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.